happy easter weekend you guys i decided i'm gonna film like a little mini vlog this weekend because why not and i don't want to say that i've like mastered the 2021 e-boy hair or anything but like easter ootd vibes Surprise! It is now 1.11 in the morning and I didn't end up filming anything. But that being said, it is Easter Sunday and my brother came over and we had Easter dinner, but that was about it. So I'm going through this weird phase lately where I'm like feeling motivated but not inspired. Meaning like I've got all this work ethic and I'm like ready to go, but I'm like looking for something to do. What do you guys do? Help me, what do you do when you're lacking inspiration? Or a better question, what inspires you? What has inspired you in the past? And maybe I can go take a look at it. Cause this ain't it. Now, I know that people's opinions are definitely going to vary on this, so I'm curious to hear yours. So it's always bothered me when cats have to be exclusively indoor cats. And now it's one thing when a cat is completely unbothered, never asks to go outside, and he's totally content, he or she, to be in the house or in the apartment. Now, for me, it's a complete other thing when the cat is constantly curious to go outside and this intelligent being is constantly asking to go outside. So to premise this, we just adopted two cats and our one cat shows absolutely zero interest in going outside. He's totally content to be an indoor cat. Now, the other cat would love to be an indoor outdoor cat. The problem, however, is that as soon as we let him outside, he runs up the trees. And not only does he just run up the trees, but we also live quite literally right next door to a forest full of coyotes. So there's always that danger that he's going to literally get eaten. So when I bring this question up, most of the advice that I can find is people suggesting that you ignore your cat's cries to go outside and reinforce positive behaviors like using his scratching post, for example, or playing with a toy inside. But my problem with this is you literally have an intelligent being that is asking you repeatedly to go outside. And why can't he go outside? And I know that lots of people are going to say that well, it's not safe, or there's bylaws, or whatever it may be, that their cat can't go outside, to which I raise the question, why can't you just not have a cat, or why can't you select a different pet that doesn't want to go outside, or one that you can bring outside easily? And so, I would like to know what your guys' opinion is on that, because I just feel like, why should a cat have to be deprived of its desire to go outside into nature, its natural habitat, for its entire life in order for it to be your pet? Or should it have to? And so for me, what I do is I bring my cat out supervised. So I watch him if he's going to run up the tree, which happens quite frequently. I'm there to assist him to get down but we don't let him out to just free range roam. And I've tried walking him around on a harness, but he just lays on the ground. He has no interest in walking around on the harness. I thought maybe, maybe just maybe, because he literally acts like a dog in every single way, but no, he's not interested in the harness. But anyways, let me know your thoughts on this and um, see you later. Certified free, seven days a week. Weird ass pigeon with feathers on his feet.